Hello and welcome to Live Coding Happy Hour on this awesome December 11th, 2020. I'm super excited to be here today with you. Uh, we have a full house um, and uh, delighted to introduce our full cast today of Santa hat wearers. Let's start with Brad. Hello, everybody. My name is Brad Tilton, and I am a developer advocate with a developer program here at ServiceNow. I've been developing on ServiceNow for about 12 years and uh, excited to be here today. Awesome. Thanks, Brad. And Chuck. Hi, Chuck Tomasi, senior developer advocate at ServiceNow. Been with the company for about 10 and a half years, customer for a couple before that, specializing in the platform, custom apps, integrations, and having all kinds of fun wearing a Santa hat. <laughs> and second time guest, the witch doctor himself. Hello, my name is Goran Lundqvist. I work, I, I don't even remember my title. I think it's something like senior programmer or something, aka witch doctor, service now, do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's about it. There's, there's oh. what's in work day, and then there's what we say. <laughs> <That's right>. Yeah, <laughs> those, are, those are two different things. Yeah, and it's Friday, 8 p.m., man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Andrew Barnes, developer advocate here at ServiceNow in the platform business unit. And I love building on this platform and I've been doing it for over six years. And I just love sharing and helping other ServiceNow developers build on our platform and be excited about it, which is why I do this job. Um, so now let us go around in the same order and introduce our beverages of choice. All right. Uh, it's a little earlier than normal, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, I'm going uh, Kentucky Coffee Barrel Stout uh, today. Ooh. And Chuck? Uh, it's even earlier for me, <laughs> <laughs> but that won't stop me either. My wife made me uh, some brats for lunch, so I'm going to wash them down with, I think it's the last bottle of my Varsteiner Dunkel. Oh, oh nice. So, yeah, brats. And beer. What can be better? Well, maybe pizza and beer. That's dinner. <laughs> yeah, wow. and I got some kind. I don't can even pronounce it. Gambrimbos something from Czech's. Uh, what's it called in English? Czech Republic. Some oh, lager Czech beer. Republic. I have oh, no nice. clue. Czech beer. Nice. Yep. Oh, I should also mention this week. I did get my Hacktoberfest shirt. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> You guys get yours I got yet? mine last week. I did. I thought you were wearing it earlier today. <laughs> no, today today I've got my it's not a bug, it's a feature shirt on today. <laughs> oh. And uh, Brad's got New York. I saw that. You are you wearing anything special? Federal <laughs> <Probably here. laughs> Nice. Always a Christmas awesome. tradition. <laughs> and so my beer today is a uh, DB Vienna Lager, uh, which is a devil's backbone, and it is one of my favorite beers. Uh, it's a it's a staple when I can get it, uh, and I like it. Uh, so awesome! So we're here today doing live ServiceNow development, and uh, we just decided what we were doing like a few minutes ago, and surprisingly, it's still the same as the title in YouTube, which is. Uh, <laughs> What wasn't a sure thing. Um, so uh, what we're going to do today is hopefully, fingers crossed, 
uh, we are going to connect with uh, some LinkedIn APIs and we're going to pull down some data um, for our users. So if you caught the show last week, um, we did that for Twitter. Um, and now we're going to do the same for LinkedIn. And uh, I'm going to be driving doing that today. But if it doesn't work, we are quickly going to pivot to doing some other housekeeping things that we have to do here at the end of the year, like fixing our cal calendar integration. Um, so I've got our credentials set up, um, but that's as far as I've gotten uh, for getting this going. And uh, we will see if those credentials work for this API that I'm about to hit, and I'm not sure they will. Uh, so we'll, we'll figure that out uh, relatively quickly. Um, other things to note uh, is this may potentially be our last show. We might have another one next week, but we'll definitely, um, as our Santa hats imply, uh, there will be some holiday uh, uh, break here uh, for the show. And uh, uh, new stuff that's come out recently, um, Chuck has just been a monster beast of generating content left and right. Look at, look, look at those guns. Um, <laughs> So he's been releasing uh, podcasts left and right, uh, which you can uh, get to. Uh, we post those on the developer blog, uh, as well as the integration series. I know we've talked about that, um, which is hosted on this channel. It's got its own playlist, so it'll be really easy for you to find that uh, because you're already here. And uh, what else is something that we need to mention, Brad? Uh, we did a GitHub Actions blog post last week in conjunction with GitHub Universe. Uh, so we've published some uh, actions for GitHub, and we've also got some stuff for Azure and, and uh, Jenkins. Uh, so, you know, ways that you can automate your ServiceNow CI CD pipeline, uh, you know, using the tools that you're already using to automate your, Dev your DevOps pipelines. Uh, so check that out. Check out those tools. Um, and uh, yeah. Tuesday, we've awesome. got a tech now coming up on instance data replication. Craig Steps going to be walking us through that. Tuesday, 8 a.m. Pacific time, bit.ly slash TN82REG. TN82REG is where you can find that. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, do you have anything fancy uh, that you've generated content for? Or are you, you still uh, hiding <laughs> you've, and you've, not generating content? He's got a couple content. of videos recently. Yeah, I've been watching his channel. He's, he's got a yeah. couple of videos. Uh, I don't remember. I did something. <laughs> oh, we'll tell you what. I'll make though. sure we have the link to your channel yeah. uh, in the description here. And so people can go find your content. Um, so with that, I'll go ahead and start uh, screen sharing. And we'll start building. Uh, so let's find a screen share. Let's share a screen. This, nope, that's not what I want to share. Let's share a screen. Uh, desktop one. Let's do that. There we go. You should be seeing my desktop now. Yes, sir. We can. Awesome. And it's so let us on YouTube. We'll, we'll let you know when it's on YouTube as well. Here it comes. Here it comes. Looks good. Let us go and fire up. So um, the steps I've done so far is uh, get credentials to LinkedIn. So I've got a valid OAuth token right now to LinkedIn. Uh, the next step is let's go create an action. So we are going to uh, get uh, linked, uh, get content, because this is going to be in the LinkedIn spoke. I don't have to say I'm getting LinkedIn content. Right, right. Is it just me or is it getting easier to create spokes, especially the REST API spokes? I, in, in like I mean, 20 minutes, I built two of them this morning for Bitly because I wanted a URL shortener and then a URL customizer. I went, well, that was ridiculously easy. What's next? <laughs> it, I mean, there are definitely some API providers and our tools are making it easier. Uh, yep. But there are still places where I uh, smash my head into walls repeatedly and am sad. Uh, but yes, I think in general, we're moving in that direction. Yeah. <laughs> it's even easier uh, with the the data stream if you want pagination and stuff like that. Oh as well. yeah, yeah. So um, speaking of, I I need to don't I need to create this act 
action as a data streaming action. Is it a paginated thing? It is. Then so. you definitely do. Uh oh. Let's hope you didn't burn up that name. <laughs> ah. <laughs> get contents. How about get uh-huh. contents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> 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 and I'll just delete the other one. All right. So uh, good call there. Uh, so we are going to uh, create a data stream action here because we expect to get, um, you know, quite a bit of results and we need to paginate through those results. Um, and so we will uh, go with that method. Um, so I'm going to, uh, you know, go right into inputs. Um, and the things that I'm going to input here are um, the users that I want to get. So uh, here is uh, LinkedIn's API that we're gonna try and use, which is this find shares by owner. And so we're going to uh, you know, access this LinkedIn V2 shares uh, is the, uh, the place we're targeting. Mm-hmm. And the thing we're gonna send it is a owner, uh, which is, yeah, find shares by owner, and we're going to send it the person's ID. So this is this is what we're going to try and send to LinkedIn to get that user's content. Uh, so we're going to need to send this um, some IDs. And so let's say uh, user's ID. Um, in fact, I'll be specific linked. Is it easy ID. to find IDs? I have no idea. Yeah, that's the the next question I had is how do you get where where are we tracking these magical numbers? So I'm not sure if their IDs are uh, something that I can get uh, easily. That that's a good question. So we've got different users, and we know their LinkedIn user, uh, like their path to get right. to there. Um, but I don't know if LinkedIn considers that. The ID or not? No, I have I don't no idea. Think it is because that's just like a almost like a short link where you go to linked, yeah. was it linked uh, LinkedIn slash in slash Tomasi. I think is what mine is, but I can't remember. So it, it's actually true, Chuck. The ID aspect of LinkedIn is really your personal profile URL. Oh, it is. Yeah, I uh, according to Google. <laughs> well then, <laughs> so I have the thing I need. Then sweet. We'll give it a try. <laughs> um, so I don't think I'm going to have to do very much pre-processing. Um, so in fact, I might want to go, hmm, I'm trying to think if I need to break this up into, yeah, we'll do one ID at a time. Um, I would. And we'll say and we're doing a pre-processing. A I'm yeah. not sure what we're going to put in here yet, but we're going to say, yes, we'll do some. Um, and how we'll, we'll do a rest step. We'll yep. enable pagination. Have you looked into the schema of pagination? Like, is it is it a token in the payload? Is it a start end count kind of thing? Or Well, we have an expert here, and yes, I have looked at it. Okay. <laughs> and it is, uh, they include that in their payload is how uh, many results there are and what the next page is, if I recall. Okay. So we will have to write a little bit of stuff around that. Yeah. That's where you may need a pre-processing script. Well, I think I'm going to need this one. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's what you want. Yep. But, but maybe not. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Um, I've done like five things. So I'm gonna hit save to make Brad happy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and get our rest up just loaded in here. Uh, so we've got a. Yeah, Josh Saxon says it's like YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, where the ID is in the slash. We've got a LinkedIn V2. Uh, we are going to build the request manually. Our resource path is gonna be share. I believe shares. Uh, we're going to do a get here. Yeah. 
Sweet. And let's start adding some parameters here. And then we'll need to backfill whatever content that we're putting into these query parameters that we don't have easily accessible. So I'm starting from my rest step and I'm gonna work backwards for the things it needs. Yep. All right, so let's see what it says it needs. Um, so let's take a look at sample response. Where is we this get is interesting documentation? I'm not uh, sure. Here's an example for those owners. Owners. So we want something like this. Yep. And there's some, looks like I can do some ordering of the data and how mm -hmm. many. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's give it that then. Doesn't really give you a good breakdown of what those parameters are for and what the limits are, does it? No, it does not. Uh, it does not. Oh. All right. Let's go. Let's go do it. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Alexa's not on board with doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Order me a toaster. Yeah. Well, uh, let's de let's definitely at least get it uh, uh, the uh, content type we want. And yeah, we're going to want uh, application JSON. And then, do you recall, um, did you have to do a, a, a bearer token in your header or, or, or not? I didn't do that. But then again, I don't know if this is the same since I did a lot of LinkedIn learning stuff. I wonder if it's really the oh, same. We'll see. I didn't need to We'll see to what do it that. says when we try and connect. <laughs> I mean, since, since it's OWAT, you normally don't need to do that. But if it's a normal API key, you normally need to throw it in. All right. So we're going to need to send it. I, I'm not. What is this? Let's just hard format? code one in there. Let's, let's just say URN, LI, person, whatever your handle and is. And then uh, let's put in, uh, let's I'm go grab some that the name. Put me in there. Is that the name? Because it doesn't come into an equals. I think that oh. needs to go on the right hand side. Oh. Check you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, yeah. It's owners equals Oops. that chunk it, of stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Good no. call. And you probably need that Q equals owners yeah. as well, right? I'm going to guess that as well. That so Q is query. Yeah. So different parameters. Yeah, that's a. Q, you owners, owners, and then up here we're gonna yank owners. this, put it over here, and then we're gonna put owners. I don't know if it's my OCD or if it really matters, but the case on your content type, <laughs> capital C, lowercase t. I have had headers. Somebody's engine is just really persnickety, where it says, "No, you can't do that. It's a lowercase c." Uh, yeah, but I believe isn't this the standard? Correct format? The standard correct is capital C, lower T. Really? Yep. I have capital both C and T. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then maybe it doesn't matter and I'm just OCD. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. Um, and let's go get mine. Okay. Uh, it should, if it's going to get yep. one, getting mine is probably yeah. the one it should, you know, we what, hope to get. Was it owners or owner? Owners. I think it's owners uh, if you have multiple. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Owners and owners. I'm not sure what you separate them by if you have more than one, but that's okay. <laughs> and I don't think we need the rest of that stuff. Uh, well, well, we'll go ahead and give it the, uh, we'll test. limit the How shares. How much do you want to bet they want the curly braces in there? <clears throat> I don't want to bet that. No, I'm... It's not real clear whether they belong or not. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to take that bet. I mean, I'm prepared to fix it that way. If, uh, but I don't want to bet on it. Okay. 
All right. Uh, that looks like it might maybe work. Let's yeah. hit save. So this should just go out and get one page and return us the payload, and we'll be able to tell what we need out of that. Yeah. Or we get an error who says what we're missing, I guess. Yeah. That usually comes for us. <laughs> Um, you don't need anything here. I don't need to send hard. anything. <laughs> so I didn't use it. Take that input box. <laughs> Internal oh. error. Wow. Nice. Welcome to live coding happy. <laughs> ah, I think that's because you haven't defined the parsing steps. If you click on yeah, parsing. I didn't, I didn't give it enough to be happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got some missing required fields here. All right. It's kind of where you can save it, though, without filling these ones in. That yeah, is... don't let me save it if you if it's not well. No, actually, please let me save it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I retract my statement entirely. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the path here. Uh, so it looks like the example says it content on content, content entities content entities down here. So content content entities is the I'm stuff not I want. Anything about Pagination. Nope. So content. I think it's dollar, dollar content, dollar dot content. Yeah. Thank you, Chuck, because I, I am not, uh, I'm not the kind of person who will store that. I just, I just don't store that. Kind oh, of you thing. get burned by that parser and splitter enough. You, you get. Oh, good. I just go open an example of one I've done before. <laughs> That's what I do until it hurts too much. Uh, I, well, I yeah, okay. I would agree with that, except for it rarely ever gets to that point. I think this should get far enough to yeah. give me output, even without doing anything. I think this is far enough. Go run. Test. Mm -hmm. Go. Oh, cursors. Okay. Error, no error. I like that error in the lower. Mm. That's nice. Uh, I don't think I should have to define any. No, of we shouldn't things. need to do that. But let's see. Um, what uh, you turn the what do I need to do? Maybe I need to give an output to the whole thing. <clears throat> yeah, that might be the thing. You might need to have the object. At least, yeah. At least have an object down here, yeah. like content or something else. You could always just make a string, and then the script parser would just say, "Hello world, hello world, hello world." There we go. Now it should work. <laughs> now it should work. <laughs> Such faith. <laughs> Every time I say that. I haven't made anything, so just um, hit test. I need to uh, hit yeah. test. Let's hit test again. We're yeah. going to keep hitting yeah. smash and test until test does something for Definition us. Definition of insanity right here, people. Live coding happy hour. Trial and error. And error. And hey. Oh. Take a drink. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, oh. well, But that's, that's, that's pretty that's fine. That's understandable. That That's perfectly possible. We got one. <laughs> Let's see Let's what hope we it, get here. Wonder if it complains about. Uh, Did we get? Yeah, not enough on. permissions on the response oh, body. No, four oh three. All right. Well, that means that our the key our token work. doesn't do this. So, uh, as I as I established the rules at the beginning. Uh, Pivot. If we uh, <laughs> if we run into an error with our authentication uh, credentials, uh, we abort this. So thanks for playing, Goran. We'll talk to you next time. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, uh, sit back and drink beer now. So we're gonna go to Dev Program Dev. We don't spend feel like spending the next thirty minutes debugging credentials. That's what no, uh, well, and I don't think that will help at all. Like the credentials are valid; they just don't have access to that. Ah, okay. So <clears throat> we we need different credentials, which was my concern, uh, and uh, so 
that's why we're, uh, you know, someone's going to put in the YouTube comments. The real content starts at 26 after. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So I was going to go take a look at the email templates. Um, Actually, let's go take a look at a a mail outbound mail object itself um, and see what is getting generated because all Outlook will tell me is that it's not a valid one. And I'm going to have to do this in production to see a valid one or rather see a generated one. Stop. Mail. Outbound set. Mailbox. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Here's one. Mm-hmm. Sweet. And it says. Um, why does it say it doesn't even have an email attachment? It should have an attachment. Do they? The calendar inbox? Hmm. These have this, this is a, this, it doesn't have enough stuff in it. It looks to have those stopped. Are, those are the headers. Normally the body is the one that has the start date, end date, all that yeah. stuff. But it doesn't have any. Well, that has a watermark. That's the only thing it has. Let's try and another is, one because you said this was broke. <laughs> it, is it is. Hey, can Brad. We, how, yeah. How does? Can you go find the date of the last one that worked? It's at least two months Ooh, ago. The date of the last one that worked. How, how does the notification look like? Yeah. So the notification um, is. Well, that's true. We could look for one that has something in the body that we put in the body. Templates. System notification. Notification. I think it was a Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday, October 14th. Wednesday, October 14th. There, that's what I would expect to see in the body. Yeah, this is what we want to see in that message area in the body. And we're not getting that. So you said uh when the October something? Yeah, Wednesday, October 14th. That's the last one I have on my calendar that looks like it came from uh, the instance. Before. You haven't switched uh, the content type on the notifications to HTML or something like that because then it breaks. Nah. And sort of by, yeah, all right. And so here, this should be the record. That's a valid one. There we go. It's got something in there. Um, you don't have the body here, though. So we want to compare this to the broken ones? Well, where is the... Broken one doesn't have a... Where's the stuff? Content. Is it just missing from the form layout? Yeah, it looks like it's not even on the form layout at all. It, 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 Who's been screwing kind of... with the form layout? There we go. There. There's that. Okay. All right. And so we can also just go look at the most recent one. In the same and view. we'll switch to default view so we can actually see the. And. Oh, uh, okay. Where, body. Nothing. Just Where's as the it? watermark. How is it that the. Body text. These... One's got body, one's got body text. Yeah, two different yeah. fields. Why are these different? <laughs> I mean, from an incoming message, the body is the HTML text and the body on, text yeah. is the text representation of that, but I've not seen that on outbound. Like, why do we have Did body we upgrade text to Paris here? between then and now? Maybe. Mm-hmm. I think we would already have upgraded. But I thought we upgraded pretty early, but. Yeah. 
I thought the dev program and the dev program dev were later. Like, I think I did that in like sep August or September. Okay. Really, we're we're pretty brave with those instances. Yeah. Well, oh, it was the recent uh, clone that I was thinking about. You told us to mm -hmm. back everything up. Hey, you have a buddy there you go. on the top as well. <laughs> when all else fails, show XML. Yeah. So this is That's got nothing. the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So both but bodies why, the watermark. Why is this one getting stuff in it? And the other one is. Well, there's nothing in the body. Uh, but if, yeah, exactly. It feels like the notification is. Feels like the notification might have changed. Like yeah. you, like you pointed out that it might be. Uh, so let's go take a look at the notification. Uh, it's just using a template, so it really shouldn't have changed. Yeah. So I'm messing with that. Or content type, HTML only. Oh. Oh. What should it be? Plain, plain text. Plain. Only. Okay. Oh. So let's go look at uh, notifications. I've been troubleshooting notification too long. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the most fun area. No, it is not, not the most fun area. You know you're in trouble when you got to get into the CMN notif device. <laughs> All right. I had let's, one of those earlier this week. Please don't say updated by Brad. Uh, <laughs> so so one has here, both. this is the out of the box one that says and, HTML uh, and plain. And so let's go take a look to see who, oh, who messed with it. Plain. Who Just messed with it? Andrew name. Barnes. Me <laughs> in in what? February. Oh, last uh, it's just delayed. <laughs> That's weird. Can't be that. Then. So it's worked since this was last adjusted. <laughs> Patch three killed us. <laughs> That's really uh, weird. Well, let's see if uh, we just assign yeah. that and save. You don't have and, you, you don't using any templates either, right? Where's the template? For it's you? it's, it's what not it using a name. template. No. I thought you said you were. Oh wait, there should be a template on that. Shouldn't well, there? that would help too. Yeah. yeah, it was your, that, it was yeah, because I'm referencing a template. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps that's the issue. Where'd it go? How, how is the template not attached? I don't know. But it worked What's previously. Uh, since the last time this has up, been updated. Someone has been trying to cover the steps, really. I mean, you can do <laughs> it. <works. laughs> They're going in and modifying sys updated by to blame Andrew for something. <laughs> Brad, Brad fixed it up. Yeah, I picked a really obscure. Uh, it's like, let's not do anything big. How about just a calendar invite that will annoy us? I will always impersonate other people when I do admin stuff, so I don't get yeah, in. Just impersonate someone else on the team. <laughs> you can't hide from the log file, so it'll say, hey, you got impersonated. Yeah, yeah but those will go away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so that means I should be able to then, uh, you know, go to a, a live stream event and, oh, Let's schedule one for next week. Okay, look, uh, we'll just take this one and insert it and stay for next week. And we'll take that. A bada bing, a bada boom. Gotta rip that out. And you there, and you there. Insert and stay. Nope. Insert and stay. And then work in progress should generate this. Ah, oh, I was so bad. I made that adjustment in prod just now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're pretty brave. Bad me. Is that because well, Dev doesn't putting a template back where it should belong in a notification? <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be the riskiest thing I've ever done in production. Uh, so we hey, should. I got it. Oh, did you already get it? And <clears throat> yep, it worked. 
Did it? Mine says Ish. not supported calendar. Uh, attachment. Got, uh, and the date yeah, is for today. Calendar message. No, we're not out of the woods yet. So it it did not work, Brad. Did not work. Same thing I got yesterday. Mine, like there's an I attachment think... of nothing. Wait, yeah, something weird happened. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong thing. It worked more. <laughs> it worked more, <laughs> but not all the way. Hey, it's got body text in there now. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, and hey, it sent it to me. Yeah, I got something as well, but not with the date thing. All right, what did we do wrong then? Oh yeah, that's uh, the start is wrong, but the end is right. Uh, that's that's why it looks weird. Oh yeah, it's supposed to go for about a week marathon show <laughs> it that's a really long show all right uh, was that just right out of the record though oh so i i got a valid calendar and invite us mm -hmm. just the wrong date yeah Did so you? the primary attendees bad. are working fine but the secondaries are not because yeah. norn and i are the optionals we got the that's same. a separate notification yeah ah. <laughs> you fixed one you didn't care um, about mine and Chuck's. So. And yeah. I suspect Hospital attendees never show up. I wonder why. <laughs> so in the record, um, there is another field uh, that I'm not showing on the form that must not have auto gotten updated properly. Where is 12, uh, 11? Oh, the start date. 12 dash 11 in here. Created, updated. No. no. So why did it? Sure it's not calculated. It start somewhere? wrong. Is it coming from a field or is it coming from? Uh, it should be late? coming from a field. I don't. Um, there was a U end time, but I didn't see any sort of U start time on that XML. Yeah. So here right, in this guy. That's using the dollar curly brace thing. Yeah. So and those are defined somewhere these else. These are defined uh, in that uh, weird side Yeah, that table. weird place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that weird that. place that, who thought this uh, was a good idea? What's the name of that freaking table? Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of that the table where those are stored. I'm going to have to Google video that. On this once. I think it was Slusher. Anybody? Anybody? Oh. Got that off the top of your head? Oh, they're going to make me look. For... All right. Um, uh, I'm going to go through the service now, uh, the tech now archives. Calendar. I thought we did calendar invite somewhere. Template service now. I actually think it's in the docs. Yeah. I think it's in the docs this... too. We'll find it easier there. No. What to do next? That's not it. Uh, Calendar integration. No, I think it's called e import export it's, map. Is this this is the right this is the right spot? That's yeah, the right scroll, spot. scroll That's down. Import export maps. Yeah. Going for the win. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's go to that table and see why you're angry. There's something to put on the notification team's backlog. Clean this stuff up. Old, old, old guy. Haven't messed with in a long time. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you being angry over here? Condition table description. Nothing in the script. End time. Calendar start, start and end. You calendar, you calendar start. start. You, end. you calendar start. Okay. Let's Is that the plan? Publish. Have a There is no, oh, there it is, 12, 18, 1845. Mm. I wonder if it's some race condition that, because I calculate that 
and it may not have mm. been calculated. <clears throat> but still, you needed to fix another notification right as well. Yeah, but that's easy. I'll, I'll just go change the template. So let's just retest this and see if we get the valid entries. And if we do, then uh, we, that should be done. Yeah. yeah, and we don't care as much about the optional hosts. Yeah, <laughs> they're optional. Good thing I got access to this system. <laughs> <laughs> all right i've received it so i don't even need to go look at the thing and it says uh 18th on the correct times oh uh, that looks good all right so now uh we can go close that close that close that oh we'll close all the things we'll go to the eat, notification table eat and that wasn't the right table this one and we will uh, artifact manager and calendar invites the other one both on the same table State oh i picked the wrong one it's the one above it this one what it will contain You want to change the content type again? How did the template go away? That doesn't make any sense at all. Didn't we change the content type to both? Uh, I did change yeah. the content type, so I might as well change it again. I don't know how this template dro dropped out of this thing, but victory was had. You might want to check the dev system just to see what it says. Oh, well, the dev was recently cloned, so it's going to oh, be so exactly the same. same. But, yeah. but you're on dev now. No. No. Nah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Dev program dev. I am in dev now. When well, let's go change, change the production. Dev? Let's go change the other one too. Then. <laughs> this Do is it in the right place. <laughs> First, you can't keep track of update sets. Now we can't keep track of instances. <laughs> it's time for Christmas vacation. I guess. There we go. Bam. Save. Our audience is waning. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right record. Uh, no. How do you know that wasn't the right one? Because uh, the name of it is new artifact created. Why? Question mark. Oh, okay. That's not no, the right the template. Record. I mean, I thought you were looking at the template. No, I was trying to just go to the other uh, calendar, invite one and add the template oh. on it in dev so that I can do my commit in dev and promote it upwards. <laughs> And I, I went uh, up in the lit record list instead of down in the record list. There we go. All right. We're all fixed up on that now. Uh, we have uh, a few minutes uh, left. I, I have time for one more short thing, Brad. What did we have in the hopper? Mm, we had um, creating podcast blogs. Hmm. Oh, the markdown uh, we, content? Yeah. Yes. Do we want to embark upon that template idea so we could change the content at any point without having to change code? I don't remember. I don't remember that. <laughs> Say it again. It, it, like make a, twice make as many words, but not four times as many. Make a table of templates, and then we can apply a template and say, this is how I want my blog posts to look, or this is how I want my community posts to look, or this is how I want, and then you inject mm. the variables in like a system notification. Oh, the, yeah. uh, the way you showed us you were doing with your... With TechNow and community live stream apps, we're doing that. Yeah, because yeah. we'll need to auto-create those blog posts as, the more, as we put more right. things in the blog. Yeah, the uh, content that idea. says, here's the title, or here's the embedded code for the player, or whatever will get injected into that and we'll get the output of a blog article. That'll uh, I like that idea. I don't think we can do that in five minutes though. We can make the table. <laughs> we can make, we the can table. make what? <laughs> we can make the table. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I can go make a table. <laughs> do it. You wanted a five minute job. Let's make a table. <laughs> <laughs> template. I, I can go make a table. We have an artifact manager template table. No. We're okay. about to. We're about to. I mean, we don't have anything called template or something that might be confusing. Uh, I don't think so. 
that's going to turn up a few results. Yeah, I was going to try and narrow it down to Artifact Manager, uh, but I didn't. Name starts with X underscore. <laughs> nope. Good. Okay. Make a new one. Template sounds like a good name for me. Uh, content template. Sure. And uh, let's put it in Artifact Manager. And let's give it some tables. Hey, uh, do you have any idea what the fields uh, name. you like? Uh, so name seems reasonable. Uh, dis <laughs> active. Um, oh, wow. Wow, active. Sounds really handy. Uh, yeah, pub and public state. Content. <laughs> uh, well, the whole thing is content. Maybe the uh, body or. Well, it depends what you, yeah, what you're calling body. But it could could be HTML, could be Markdown. I was trying to be generic. I wouldn't. I don't know that I call it text. But that's effectively what we're doing. Is this is output? I don't know. Okay. Or that, that's actually the. What, no, this is going to be the template content of what we're going to have the variables in. What do, what do they call that? Is it the message? What do they call it in a notification? Where it says what it will contain. There's the subject like and the text. Body. Okay. Yeah, it's like message yeah. text. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Either. Okay. Give these things the right types and yeah. values and display value. Uh, so uh, this is just going to be a, oh, I don't have to do it. String's fine. Uh, this is. A... So while we're doing this, this is a, we're creating this table. And if I want to uh, take an artifact and have it generate a blog post, I would just apply one of these templates to that artifact. And then I it wouldn't would do generate HTML me some that markdown. Yeah, it shouldn't be HTML. It should Not just HTML. be a string, a right? String. Big string, mm -hmm. like a 4,000 string. Yeah. All right, here's another thing to think about. Do we want to put a condition on this? Because you may want a different template based on what state it's in. Here's an example. Before, before we do a tech now, it will say, uh, you know, watch live at date and time. Afterwards, it says originally aired at date and time. So if you want to have a condition, then you're going to need a table. Or we could do a static table in dictionary entry. It's up to you. But do That's you, fine. Chuck, do, do you need to apply the template again afterwards? Or do you have logic in the back end that's like schedules and tweaks? Uh, generally, what, I have, what I've done in the past is have a UI action that says, look, I made some changes. I want to refresh my content for the YouTube description. I want to refresh my content for the community HTML. I want to refresh. And it just goes and regenerates all that stuff. Because I may okay. have added something in a related list that doesn't necessarily trigger a business rule that'll generate that. It's sort of an on-demand, I know it's time to refresh. Yeah. But the template says, because you're in this state, uh, maybe it's before this due date. I mean, with condition, you can do all kinds of fun. And then it will say, ah, this is the template I need for right now, yeah. for this con continuous state. Do we need a type field? For, what are you thinking? Um, just so I can pick the template I want fast. But you could do that with a condition as well. Mm. Okay. Yeah, if type is what blocked, else do we need then? And let's do markdown. Um, oh, yeah. No, you're uh, well. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking if this is a markdown template, how does it know to generate markdown? Or if this is an HTML template, how does it know to generate HTML? Or who knows what we're going to generate right. in the future? So it's an output type, is what you're thinking? Yeah, output I type. The engine what kind of template it's looking for. Although that would be in the template, the content itself, wouldn't it? I wouldn't put HTML into a markdown. Yeah, that should be the con in the content itself. That should be I the think. content itself. <clears throat> that, that, this feels a little I'm, redundant. I'm going to leave it for now because uh, we could just delete the field later if we're not <laughs> using it. Do you, want, do you want that as a string or a choice or what? <laughs> I'm going to leave it as a string for now because I'm not sure yeah. if I need it. He's um, fine. Yeah, so when we do a blog article, we often have that header text at the top. I don't know if we want that separate or part of the content. Um, yeah, I think a header text, and I also think um, a 
uh, like a social uh, footer, a slug. Yeah, uh, like a like a short like the, description the teaser, that we would. Yeah, yeah, the teaser text essentially, like a socials, like the format for this content type for its social promotion. But is, the, is, is that getting away from the point of this table, though? The idea is, yeah. is the template you're going to use to generate my markdown or my HTML or something else. It's not necessarily for social. That feels more like an artifact feel. Yeah. That would right. But that, else. well, maybe that's a different template then, because I want to generate, I want to generate both of those at the same time. I want to generate the right the format of the content and the format of the social content. Yeah, that feels like a different template. Okay. Oh, so you're I'm saying the yeah, it would generate something that takes whatever we put in the short description and then also matches like a URL and maybe whoever's on the episode yeah. tags right. them. Yeah. Yeah, that would be another field that gets generated from this template. Okay. Um, that's, that seems good. Good place to start. I'm good good place that. to start. Let's go build up. Well, we forgot the display value on the name. Ah, but it's the name field. Oh, it, it'll, it'll be a name. You're right. It'll default. It'll uh, default. Let's go bind the condition field to the table field. Where'd the condition go? Condition field. There it is. There it is. So make it dependent on table and table. Did you make table a table name field? Yes. Okay. Um, Advanced view. Where is it? There it is. Down at the bottom. I'm looking over here for, you know, the the business sure. rule click, you know, the advanced. I'm like, where's the advanced button? <laughs> dependent. And then uh, use dependent field. Table. And, and do me a couple of favor and name. add some attributes in here so we don't knock ourselves silly later. You, I would have put them in the attributes field, but we can do it here too. They're the same thing. I know, and they stay in sync. I love it. And sometimes I don't always remember what the actual attribute name is. So readable, R-E-A-D-A-B-L-E, -E, is true. You you have generated these uh, a lot recently. Too many seems. times. A lot. Uh, what else you got? I don't know that we necessarily need show record count. Ah, what the heck? Yes, yeah, so let's do it. Show condition count, true. And we don't need static dependent because I feel like a secretary now. A, I'm, I'm doing Chuck's bidding. And there's a third one that I always go after. I can't remember what it is. I have no clue. All right, go. Well, to that seems good table. enough. Okay, and, and we'll call it a day. The readable is the big one. That's how you show in a list field. It will say like active dot is dot true instead of active equals true up caret something something we'll come back to these all right so i will stop share we are nearing the end uh, look at it look at all those festive Ooh. santa hats i love it i feel like you, um, you give me a kickstart for what i'm going to work on in january <laughs> i know right now now we have a template table and we got to put some stuff in there <laughs> um so that was fun unfortunately uh you know as we thought uh potentially that the uh, the linkedin credentials we had for today uh, just weren't uh weren't available to access the apis we needed uh and i was trying to get the the other type of api credentials uh and just needed folks on the LinkedIn side to uh, do things faster than they wanted to, uh, and that's fine. Uh, so we'll we'll revisit that at, at some point in the future. Um, and we fixed our confusing uh, lack of the template in our notification tables, even though the record has not been updated. It was very strange for that to break uh, without the record being updated. Um, but, but now we'll actually get calendar invites that work, and that's pretty exciting. <laughs> that is exciting. I, I actually had to update. I, it had gone so long that I had to update the uh, the invite today to because we changed the 
the zoom <laughs> link. The zoom. <laughs> <laughs> like, this doesn't look right. It doesn't match. <laughs> Chuck was like, which one of these should it be? As we retired. Because I only changed one of the ago. two. <laughs> and I'm like, there's automation for this. What? Why is it not working? Uh, so the thanks so much. The hazard of working with service now. I can fix this. I can <laughs> fix this. So uh, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for coming on this journey, everyone. Let us rate our beverages and then wrap up the episode. Brad? Yeah, I had the uh, Kentucky coffee. coffee Barrel Stout. Uh, mm. And it's it was pretty good. I'm going to give it a 425. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is, was hey. that a like a bourbon aged thing or? Yeah, it's a barrel aged. I think it's like a bourbon and a coffee. What's the barrel? ABV on that? Eight. Okay, Eight. significant. Okay. Significant. <laughs> My uh, Versteiner Dunkel is good. I'm gonna go with a solid four this time. It washed down the brats nice. I'm I'm feeling like I've had a few too many of them now though, so it's time to move on to something else. Yeah, I'm ready for you to show a different label. <laughs> it's been that or the Modelo Negro for like the last two months, it feels like. I actually left the house and got beers last week. So uh, that that was weird for me to, to actually leave and go get beers. And and yours, sir? Yeah, I had uh, the Gabrinos. There we go. Yeah. It, it was really good. I mean, I drank it all in, in this hour or so. It tastes, I gave it a four. A four. Lord live the Was Republic. that a one liter bottle? No, 500 nah, milliliters. It's oh, a regular. Okay. <laughs> it <looked> bigger. <laughs> you drank the one yeah. liter bottle. <laughs> and my Vienna lager, this thing uh, does work. It's, it's, it does exactly what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. It is a four or five. Solid as can be. There, there are other beers that I'll drink before it, but on a, da a daily drinker that that that's the uh that's the stuff if if you were gonna have a beer every day which i can't i can't drink that much beer um which is why we can only have live codes on fridays can't be right. can't be doing beer that often um well that was really awesome thank you so much for joining us uh everyone in the audience and of course our special guest um we we are delighted that you took some of your evening to join us on this lovely friday and if we don't have an episode next week which is still up in the air um uh we will uh be back next year and uh, but we'll still be generating a little bit of content before we wrap up for the year even if it's not a video next week um, we'll, we'll get a couple more blogs out, uh, but we're looking forward to an awesome uh, 2021 with you, our ServiceNow developer community. Um, and we really appreciate you and we hope you have a great holiday and stay safe. Uh, thanks, everyone. Happy holidays.